EC-175 arrives on the market with first pilots already trained for a smooth entry into service. Since the summer of 2014, pilots have embarked on the four-step training course offered at Airbus Helicopters, comprised of theoretical courses, FMPT, full flight simulation, and real flight. A film crew followed Mark Simulion, chief pilot at NHV, the first customer to put this aircraft into operation for oil and gas missions. This ground cause is also uh, already better than, than the previous one because, for example, we don't have a full pack of paperwork to do. This we receive a tablet, for example, with a lot of information that we can take it with us. We can uh, consult it whenever we want. I have a good feeling. Of course, it's the beginning of the course now. So, but I have a very good feeling uh, that this will be uh, a perfect uh, helicopter and an ISO grade. I, I can hardly wait, of course, as a pilot, so I want to fly the helicopter, I want to feel it, but uh, we still have, we have to be a bit patient. First the courses, of course, the ground course and the flying courses, and uh, after that uh, I hope to fly it in October this year. The FMPT, Flight Navigation Procedure Trainer, is the occasion to test the failure modes of all the different systems and also to discover one of the most noteworthy innovations proposed by the EC-175, Helionics. Normally I was used to, to have an autopilot system which was automatic. Now everything is, um, is managed by this Helionics system, meaning also engines, fuel, electrics, everything is included. Even on this uh, flight procedure training, we can already fly offshore, land on uh, all rigs, for example, and simulate uh, technical problems uh, before and after takeoffs of uh, an oil rig. And it's very interesting, of course. My expectations um, were high, but are fulfilled, let's say, because it's one of the best uh, uh, flight uh, procedure trainers I met until here. The Level D Full Flight Simulator enables pilots to achieve the highest level of realism in flight simulation, even reproducing oil and gas missions. In a full flight simulator we can do of course more, so we have more feelings, so we are all human. We have all uh, the impression of, of movements during a flight, uh, during emergencies that we don't have, of course, in the FMP to do. And it is one factor which influences our decision making sometimes. We have seen every uh, possible uh, procedures, we have seen uh, every possible uh, protection of the autopilot system, for example. So now we have to see it in the real thing, because in the real life. And this is uh, maybe the, the first feeling I have is, okay, now I want to go airborne with the 175. After such a wait, the training concludes with a series of real flights, in which we see whether the expectations have been fulfilled. When I entered this uh, helicopter, the first impression I had, oh, this is a big one. This is a big helicopter, bigger than my uh, helicopters I'm flying for the moment. In the cockpit, it's spacious, but also for the passengers, it's, in, it's a bigger helicopter. Of course, the flight simulator remains a tool uh, to help us uh, to, to simulate uh, experience, feelings, uh, and all these things. But the real aircraft uh, is uh, a nice discovery to find out that this is uh, even better than the flight simulator. Smoother, for example. The AFCS is the best I ever saw in my career. Eh? So there's a lot of safety features in it. Um, very smooth, very easy to program.
Well, I think uh, for oil and gas missions, uh, this helicopter, uh, of course, he still has to prove it. But I think this will be a full target. It will be a very good helicopter for this. The helicopter is ready, the pilots are trained, and the story of the EC-175 begins. Mm -hmm.